this estate sale looks massive. There are a lot of things on here I know nothing about, and I'm not going to waste my time looking those items up, especially at an estate sale. If it were a thrift store, it'd be a little different. An estate sale, there's going to probably be quite a few people here. And I don't want to waste my time on things that I am not sure about. I want to go in there and go toward the items that I know about and that I can easily look up instead of wasting my time on my phone and on things that I know nothing about. I try to stay in my lane and just pick the items that I am familiar with that I am pretty sure can make me, you know, a little bit of money. Okay, we are less than a mile away from the estate sale. It is supposed to be massive. I am praying the rain keeps a lot of people away. I cannot stand going to an estate sale and there's so many people around me. <laughs> I feel like I am rushed to buy things and I don't like to be rushed. I don't like to be rushed into spending money just out of the adrenaline rush or the excitement of buying something. Holy frick. All right, so much for there being just a few people here and the rain keeping people away. There's a lot of people here. Sometimes you wonder if people have jobs. Of course, they're probably wondering the same thing about me. Oh my word, there's a lot of people here. I don't like people that much. And I've got nice white shoes on and it's raining. Not a smart move. Uh, I picked the wrong day to wear white shoes. Okay, so it doesn't seem too bad. I see people bringing out some really good things. So let's see. Let's go to looking. Okay, here are the jeans. Yellow 20, orange 30, green 40, blue 50, pink 60, purple 70. Okay, we won't be getting any jeans, so let's look in here. Ooh, lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. Okay, let's see what they got here. All right, the clothing here doesn't seem too bad. Maybe. Have you seen the prices for their purses anywhere? No, I've just been, um, if it doesn't have a price, mm -hmm. I've just been bringing it up. Oh, okay. Every, of course, everything I pick doesn't have a price. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm the same yeah, way. What is that? Oh, it's got little critters on it. I hate when there's no prices. But it's nice. But there's no prices. You have to take them up front for pricing. Okay, yeah, there's no glass on it. Hmm. I'm a little scared to see how much it is. If you have to ask, you can't afford it. Just to give you an idea of this place, there's everything in here. I don't know if they were a hoarder, a collector, or a reseller. But there's a lot here. I like that. I don't know if that's the price or not. All right, a lot of linens. Uh, Simply shabby chic. Is that? Yep. Rachel Ashwell. Gosh, I don't know about some of this stuff because I don't know the price. I don't see price on some of these. Where do I go to get pricing uh, on some I can of these? Take care of that. Oh, okay, okay. Just ten for all of us. For all that. Okay, okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. That's a good deal. Not bad, guys. Let's look at pots and pans. Let me get my Kia bag out. Watch me are waving that thing. We're gonna head into the kitchen and see what they have. Yeah, that one. 
they have any silverware. They had some pictured that was brand new in the box. I don't see anything. Those are cute. 20 piece. Hmm. Mm, it looks like it's missing a few. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, that Pyrex is gorgeous. Sunflower bowl set $150 for three pieces, which is probably what you would get on eBay. The tulips are so beautiful. $60, $40, salt and pepper, $150. Yeah, Fire King, gorgeous. This is... Forest Fancies bowl set, $300 vintage Pyrex. Look at all of this, which I know nothing about, but it's beautiful. And all of the glass and all of the breakables, which I know nothing about. I do have these lamps though. I have these lamps, they're $45 each. I purchased some of these at the thrift store, have them on my vanity. Maybe I paid $8 for both of them, but they are just beautiful. Oh, it is chilly in here. I got the fan going. Oh, okay. Let's look at the perfumes. Now, on eBay, you cannot sell partially used perfumes. It has to be new. You can't sell the empty bottles. You can't sell, like, partially used Perfume, Avon, who is this? Aftershave Mary Kay, original number one, also oh, version of Chanel. Okay, here are some of the men's. Cody, Gloria Vanderbilt, never heard of some of these. What is this? Diamonds Forever. Ooh, that does not smell good. It smells like... Lots of little figurines. Lots and lots of Barbies. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. Let's see. $10, 12 10 Once again, I know nothing about Barbies. I know nothing about dolls. So we're not really going to waste our time on that. Okay, the Furbies. Hmm. Oh, yeah. 150. I was going to say, I thought I said 15. I was going to grab all of them. So far, I have found this and the man saying $10. So let's see what else we can find. So much stuff. I know I keep saying it. But look at all that. It's a digger's paradise. stuff. It is quite overwhelming. It is so humid today where it's raining and my hair is just, it ain't cooperating one bit. But I did manage to keep my shoes white, which is always good. And I ended up spending $45, and of course it's North Carolina, so there's taxes, $48.15, which is a little more than what I would spend for something like this at the thrift store, but there's a sweater I picked up that I'm sure will get me anywhere between $45 and $50. So I may come back on Sunday whenever they're doing some um, really like half off, maybe 75% off deals. Today's Friday. Don't think I'll come back tomorrow on Saturday. Yeah, let's, let's plan on coming back on Sunday. All right, it doesn't look too bad today. And also today I didn't wear my white shoes. I wore my old dingy ones. 
50% off today with just a few exceptions. Let's go. You can see the mirror is still here. It's not wood, it's just a plastic, but I think it's pretty good. Oh, that's really nice. All the detail on here. Very pretty. Feels like linen, as you can see. Plenty of junk back here. And this is just one room that's packed and stuff. I don't know what they're doing at this place. Uh, they're tearing it down or making it look better. But they're doing something. Good old Alfred Dunner. Even in a state cell, you're going to find her. Or him. Oh, there's a salad master. There's a bunch of salad masters. Hmm. I wonder. Pre-owned. Okay, this would be five. I need some cleaning. T304S. Not too bad. I can probably get this one really clean too. And then this one. Let's see how much this one is. Hmm. That one has a little bit more, well, maybe not. I may be able to get that clean. All right, let's head into the kitchen and see what they've got. All right, we're going out to look at the garage. Let's see what they've got. Probably nothing that I know what I'm looking at, but we're going to check it out. Oh, no, there's some stuff out here. Then wood. Wow. Ooh, and it smells just a little bit. Smells like death. Just a little bit. All right, that's not bad. So we spent $30 at the estate sale plus tax. Wasn't too bad, I don't think. Um, I'm hoping that at least one item will sell for that much so you know we can make that money back. That's usually my goal whenever I go out to thrift stores, estate sales, something like that. Um, if I spend 50, hopefully I have at least one item that can sell for 50 to make up the money. That's not always the case, but you know, as I've said before, if one item can pay for how much I spent, the rest of it is all gravy, baby. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Wow. Was that not a picker's paradise? I don't know if a hoarder lived there. I have no idea, but some of that stuff like had been sitting there for a while. There was dust, there were cobwebs, there were probably critters in some of them boxes. Thankfully, we didn't run into any, but we did have such a great time. The first day we went, we spent $32.10, and the second day we went there, we spent $48.15, giving us a grand total of $80.25, but we'll round up and say we spent $81 at this estate sale. And we ended up picking about 19 items, which averages, what, about $4.26 a piece, so not too bad. Now, I don't usually spend this kind of money when I go into just a regular thrift store store unless it's just a phenomenal sale going on but I know going to estate sales I'll have to pay up for a little bit you know on certain items which is fine but I didn't think $80 for 19 items especially for the items I picked up was too bad. I did pick up some vintage linens. Vintage linens have my heart. The first is this Dan River three-piece twin set. It has kind of a geometric print to it. This is definitely giving me 80s and 90s vibes. Next is the Simply Shabby Chic Balloon Shade. Very, very pretty. It was new in package, but I did take it out and wash it just because things in there that looked like they've been sitting for a while, and they had because this was sold in Target in 2004. So I did take this out and wash it. I noticed there were two tiny little rust stains that came from these little tabs from the inside of the package. I still think it's worth selling. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna sell it for. 
it's going to be a little lower since there are two tiny little rust stains on there but i still think it was a great pickup simply shabby chic is such a classic look and i'm sure someone will still want to buy it next new in package is this vintage little baby little afghan or blanket and it has a little teething rings i don't i, I wouldn't I don't think I'd let my baby put these in their teeth. They are hard as a rock. And, you know, they've been sitting there for a while. <laughs> and so even with this, even though this is brand new, I will steam it. I will steam it and I will wash the little teething ring here. I love this. This is such a beautiful classic look. It was sold in Belk. It was sold in Belk. I don't see the price on here, how much it was. I'm thinking it has a four there, so maybe $40? Not really sure, but it is such a classic look for a little baby's room. And I'll probably price it maybe around $20, $25. Also on that first day, I found this beautiful framed print. This is Thomas Jefferson. It has a really beautiful, this almost feels like a leather, um, what do you call that? What is that? What are you doing with your hands? I am fighting myself to not keep this. I think it would look so good in my dining room. I love dark and moody and that's how my dining room looks. So I am fighting to not keep this. So you may see it on eBay or you may not. And I believe I found these on the first day. I, I may get some of this mixed up, but either way, all that came from the estate sale. This beautiful vintage double chiffon nightgown. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's from Gotham Lingerie. It is in fantastic condition. It is a two piece and I love it. It is just, it's so girly and feminine. It reminds me of something you take on your honeymoon. Oh my goodness. It is so beautiful. The blue, the embroidery on it. I'm not sure how much I'm going to list this for just yet, but the comps look really, really great. Some going even up to $100. I don't think this really is worth that much since there is a worn spot in the actual gown, but I'm thinking maybe $50. I'm thinking around that price for this beautiful nightgown. We spent $80 on everything. And how I look at things when I go in the store, if I can have one of those items I purchase, uh, sell for as much as I paid for everything. I am so happy about that. And I'm thinking that this little dress here, this is a little girl's, I call it a pageant dress. It is a vintage ruffle dress. There's only a few tiny little dots on here that I can't get out. I have washed this, but I am gonna price this probably right around 75 or $80. Look how beautiful this is all the ruffled tears to it. Oh my gosh, it is precious. So I'm thinking this may, you know, pay for the, everything I bought or this beautiful hand knitted, the Eagle's Eye cardigan. Eagle's Eye is a fantastic vintage brand. Everything was hand knitted. It is so beautiful. It's kind of giving me Ralph Lauren vibes with their teddy bear, especially the one down here. To me, it's very Ralph Lauren. I, when I first saw it, I almost gasped because I thought it was Ralph Lauren, but it's not. It was made in 1994 by Eagle's Eye, but I have sold this brand so many times and I usually get pretty good money for it. And I probably priced this one right around $75. I love sweaters, you guys know that. Found this one out in one of the buildings that smelled like something. I, I couldn't place my finger on what it was. Death. And I wasn't trying to hunt out the smell, but I did bring this home and I washed it. It smells fantastic. I'm thinking, you know, this will probably sell more toward as we reach fall and winter. It could sell now, I, you know, who knows? Um, eBay is one of those things that you're very surprised a lot of times on the things you think won't sell for that season that will sell for later and then it sells for that season and you're just scratching your head. This vest is so beautiful. It is by Tinango Designs, made in Guatemala. Someone has cut out the size tag, which that doesn't bother me. If I buy something and the tag isn't in there, I would rather the size tag be in there, but I put measurements with my clothing anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But this is so beautiful. If I have to say a size, I would say a large. This is very boho to me. I love this. And I am probably gonna price this probably right around $25. This is from Sag Harbor. The quality on here, all of the beautiful detail, 
it really just drew me to it. I love this. I love how colorful it is. I love the quality. Sac Harbor has some really great jackets. And this right here, I'll probably price right around $30, $35. Also out in the smelly building, I found this Goosebump shirt. Nothing really spectacular about it. I'm thinking it may get me anywhere between maybe $15 and $20. I looked through a bunch of their purses and I did have two in my bag on the second day, I believe but I did get it into some better light in that house because the lighting was terrible. And I did see where it had stains on it. And I wasn't sure if I could get those stains out and they were a little bit too much to sell as is. So I did put them back, but I did end up picking up this relic leather bag. Now these really aren't going for a huge amount. I'm thinking maybe $20, but it is in fantastic condition. The quality is really, really great. The inside of it is very clean. So I thought, why not pick it up? $20 if I could flip it for really isn't a bad deal. I don't pick up a lot of children's items. I did pick up that beautiful pageant dress is what I call it just because it was vintage. And then I saw these boots. These are vintage. They are by Rodeo. But when I look them up, a lot of people are saying they came from, I think Sears, if I'm not mistaken. They have the beautiful denim. They have the suede on the toe right there. I think they are so precious. Once again, certain things I'm just drawn to. They make me happy to resell, and that's why I pick them up, especially if the price is really, really good. And I'm thinking for these boots, maybe $20, $25. I also found this Statue of Liberty is genuine bone china made in Taiwan. And I really like the way it look and actually they're going for a decent amount. I'm thinking $25, $30, but it is in great condition. All of her little points here are all intact. That was one reason why I picked it up and I just like the look of it. And I'm thinking, you know, if I could flip it and get $25, it's worth the pickup. I found this paint by numbers artwork. This is so precious. I'm thinking of keeping it for myself. I haven't ran comps on it just yet. There are some imperfections here and there. Um, I think you put a frame around that, you're never going to see it. But as a vintage lover myself, I don't mind selling things like this that have, you know, a little bit of imperfections to them because I think that's really what makes it vintage. It has been pre-loved. Someone has enjoyed this. And even with imperfections, people still buy things like that. I always like to note it in all of my listings, but I'm thinking of keeping this little puppy dog for myself. But like I said, I may look up the comps and see this is worth a million dollars and we'll have to list it on eBay. I always love vintage items that are new and packaged. These are ballerina candle holders. You can see they were originally six for 49 cents. They were made by the General Mills Company, made in Hong Kong. There are two of them here. I think they're so cute. And I didn't even look these the comps up on this. I figure if I could get $20 for both of them. I'm happy with that. But I hate to see stuff like this go into a landfill to be thrown away when I think they are just so precious and someone would love to have this on their little girl's birthday cake, little ballerinas, little vintage ballerinas. But I'm thinking of listing them probably both packages for $20. The Salad Master Pots and Pans. I picked up the small one because it ended up only being $5. And I wasn't sure about the other ones. Now they were priced $35 dollars and more um, and they were half off so what $17.50 but I was scared to because I wasn't sure if what was on there could be cleaned off I wasn't sure if it was damaged or just you know ugh. say what I am kind of kicking myself for not picking the rest of them up but a lot of times I have to go by my gut if I don't feel good about the sale, then I just walk away from it. I have to feel good about it. I'm not saying I always pick up the best thing. Some things I pick up are duds, but I just didn't feel good about them. And so I did walk away from it. But I think just picking up the one for $5, I felt like I wasn't going to lose a lot if it didn't sell for a lot of money. The last thing I picked up is that beautiful mirror you see behind me. It is not wood, it is molded plastic. I don't think it is Sirocco. I don't see a name anywhere on there, but it is vintage. I think it is still beautiful. You would not know that it's not wood because it looks so realistic. And it was bundled all together. Like I said, I'm pricing 
or I'm thinking, you know, if I break down the prices, I paid like $4.25 or $4.26 for each item. So I'm thinking of probably pricing that maybe around $35, $40 once I do more comps on it. It is so beautiful. And once again, I want to keep it for myself. What a surprise. And I'm thinking of pricing it maybe $35 to $40. We started off this video with $161 that we could use over at the estate sale. We spent $80.25, so we'll round it up and say $81, leaving us $81 that we can use for the rest of the month of March to find items to flip for a profit. Mm. Math is hard. I cannot wait to take you guys to even more estate sales and the yard sales are starting to pop up everywhere in my area. So get ready for some yard selling videos. If you are new to my channel, and this is the first video of mine you have ever watched. I am trying to save $4,000 to start on the makeover in my kitchen and I'm doing it all by flipping other people's junk. If you want to catch up on my starting from zero series, I'll leave that playlist right here. And if you just enjoy thrifting videos in general, I'll leave a playlist right here I think you might like. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you at the next one.